Hi, um, um, this is my brother's keeper. I'm Jeremiah, and this is my friend Bonnie and Oliver. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Um, sure, sure. My name is Tom Flanagan. I'm the superintendent for Burlington Schools. Awesome. Well, I guess we can start at, at that. Uh, what is a superintendent? What is a superintendent? Oh, that's a good question. I go, I go uh, to schools. Right probably four or five school visits a week and I always, the elementary school students say, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> now some, now they know me, so they don't ask that so much, but I always say I'm the, I'm like the principal of the principals. Oh. So you know how you have a principal who leads your school. Mm -hmm. I get to be the person who helps the principals lead all of our schools. Oh, okay. And uh, so we have about 12 school schools or school programs in Burlington, uh, in the Burlington School Department. And so I get to work closely with the, with the principals, uh, with the school communities, with our school board to make sure that our schools are safe, that our students are learning, mm -hmm. uh, everything that they, that they need to learn, that you all feel that like you belong and, uh, and, and, and have, have caring um, and supportive classes and teachers. And uh, that's really my, my work. Awesome, awesome. Uh, since you work with us with all school, what is the next plan about wearing masks in school? Oh, masks have been a big, big thing in, in schools, right? Do you, do you like wearing the masks or no? Uh, no. No? <laughs> Can't really tell people. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, are, we are probably going to be wearing masks um, for, for a bit longer. Oh. Yeah, I don't see I don't see a clear end to to when we stop wearing masks. We did hear from uh, the governor and the secretary of education for all of Vermont this summer, and they have some guidance or some some um, some written guidance for us that we can that we can use and adopt, make our own for each district across the state. Mm -hmm. And what they told us was that when the district um, is at 80%, when 80% of, of, of people have their vaccination, yeah. then we can stop the masks. Huh. Um, so like, how long does it take to get to 80%? It just like, sounds like an easy number to get to, but. <laughs> yeah, well, it's hard to actually, it's hard, one of the hardest parts is tracking and understanding who has the vaccine and who doesn't. Sometimes people don't feel comfortable sharing that information. So, and for some people, it's public information. But really, one of the big one of the one of the big um, obstacles is that our grades five through or our ages five through twelve. So basically, all of elementary school wasn't vaccinated until until now. Okay. And so, for elementary school, um, it, because it's 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 the student population mm -hmm. for eighty percent. Mm -hmm. When it's when eighty percent of students are vaccinated, then then we can go away from the masks, um, as the kind of state guidance tells okay, so us. So, like, how do you really know like a kid is like vaccinated? Do they ask their parents that they're vaccinated or not? Like to keep the majority. You you uh, students and staff soon will have to share um, and give proof of their vaccination. And, for, and, and we also, as a state, we collect the, those people who are vaccinated. We know, we know who's vaccinated and who's not vaccinated across the state. So there's also, there are a couple of different ways for us to tell. And also, since you said uh, uh, we have to get to 80%, do you know what is the percentage you right now? So right now, we are still working on, on gathering all the data oh. so that we have the, the, the right number. But one of the other things is that each community is different in, in across the state. Some communities across the state said they don't, want them, they don't want to wear masks. What we've heard in our community in Burlington, yeah. I, know, I know I get tired of wearing the masks. I know you all told me you're kind of tired of wearing the masks. <laughs> but the community is saying, look, it's not that hard to wear a mask. Let's, until, until we start to see the numbers go down, until we start to see to, be, to feel like we're safe, mm -hmm. um, let's keep the masks on regardless of whether or not we get to 80%. Right. And I think there's, you know, as a, as, a, as a new variant comes, comes our way, right, as we learn about Omicron and, and a new variant, we're, we're going to be learning more about that in the next couple of weeks. The numbers are still high. The daily count of numbers is high in, in Vermont now. And so 
it doesn't make sense for me to, to, to go away from masks now. We have to start seeing the numbers go down and we have to feel like we really understand where, where we are uh, with, with, with COVID before we, we go away from the masks. Yeah, like how long is it gonna take to know like uh, that you, you have reached the 80% of the people who have vaccinated in Moscow? That's a good question. And I, I, don't, I don't know how long it'll take until we get to that point. For secondary school, for, the, for middle school and high school, I think we probably will get to 80% pretty quickly. Our, our vaccination rates are pretty high across, across Burlington, both for students and adults. So we may be, we may be close right now. Um, and so it's not necessarily the 80%. We, we need to at least get to 80%. Then we need to decide after we're at 80%, you know, do we feel comfortable now without masks? For elementary school, they're just going now to their second round of shots. We have about a third of our students who are vaccinated. Um, so we still have some more work to do to do there for elementary school. Right. Um, I was going to ask, sticking to the COVID topic, um, mm -hmm. how has things been different from like two years ago into like oh. now? Everything's. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's not different? Right. <laughs> Everything's a little bit different, right? Uh, like how different? Like, Whew. I think the, the big thing last year was that we weren't in school all the time. Yeah. Right. You know, half of the students were in school one, um, on one day, half the other day. Uh, we weren't we weren't in school in person on on Wednesday. That was a big big difference, and I think that uh, I think I imagine you all felt it uh, yeah, as students, it. right? For Being sure. away, and I heard particularly when the high school was didn't have a school building. Mm -hmm. When you all started to come back, what I heard from students was it's just good to be back together in person. Yeah. So last year was very different. This year is is a hard year because now everyone's back. And I think it's been hard on our community. I think the, the past 18 months has been very hard on people's, on people's uh, well-being. You know, I think people have had a hard time in, in a bunch of different ways because of the pandemic. And whether that be through kind of being stuck at home, right? Maybe people had to, had to stop working. Uh, all different kinds of things happened to different people in our communities. And so what we're seeing in our schools is they're kind of you know, there's a lot of work. It's a lot of, a lot of making sure we're taking care of each other and, and really paying attention to relationships, making sure that you all, you know, and, and all of our students feel like they've got someone that they can connect with. As a, you, have, you have students you can connect with. We wanna make sure you also have adults, you know, that you feel like you can really connect with uh, at school. So, you know, I would say we're getting back to more normal, mm -hmm. but now, you know, lunch is a little different. Masks are a little different. Right, right, right. right. Um, and, and so those are the big things, big things now. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I didn't realize how much I like Zoom to have to go to Zoom. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, take me back. What was Zoom like? Uh, not the best. Not, not the good best. at all. It no. wasn't that bad. You got enough time to sleep. I mean, yeah, that's, <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah? That, that you was the sleep best. in? That was the best. Yeah, wow. I would say that yeah. was an advantage for sure, but still, it it wasn't working out for me yeah, yeah the thing is with zoom i would wake up because like my zoom classes start at 10. Yeah. i would wake up like probably at 10 and then join the zoom and then go take <laughs> a, go in the bathroom take a shower and mm. then get out the shower and then they make breakfast and then <laughs> got it get back into the zoom they will never even notice i'm out yeah <laughs> that, yeah <laughs> was it hard to like engage is that why? Yeah, or you yeah. just were kind of like, I'm at home, I can't, I yeah. can't focus. The thing is you can't focus when you're like in your bed sure. in class. Just, yeah. You feel like you want to sleep. You feel like yeah. you want to do something else. Just, yeah. yeah. And did you get to hang out with your friends or did you, were you not able to really see each other as much? We hung out a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But it wasn't as much. It wasn't yeah. as much. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it was really hard. Mm -hmm. Really hard. Yeah. Like, uh, what is the hardest part of being a superintendent? Yeah. Um, I think the hardest part is just managing all the different pieces, you know, it has, this job has a lot of different, um, a lot of different challenges, a lot of different, you know, parts of the job. And so for me, it's thinking about what do I focus my energy on? You know, there are so many different things we could focus on. What, what do I focus on mm -hmm. and how do I help to make sure that my team is focusing on the right things. And for me, that's making sure that we're always focusing on students. Mm. You know, 
a lot of times we're a school system, so we're designed yeah. to support students. Yeah. Right. But you'd be surprised how often our decision making, the, the things that we think about are more about adults than about students. Mm -hmm. So what I try to think about is my, my most important job is to make sure that we're focusing all of our decisions on what's right for, for students. So I would say that's, um, you know, that's the thing that I, I take most seriously. The, the thing that's, that's, um, that's challenging is just managing all of the different pieces and making sure I know, I know what I need to prioritize. Mm -hmm. and those... The other thing is I have, I have 12 bosses. Oh, dang. Yes. <laughs> the school board yeah. has 12 people. Mm -hmm. And as a, as a whole, they, are, they, are, they, they evaluate me. And they are also uh, voted in to their roles. Mm -hmm. They run for this position, and they're voted into the, their roles by the people of Burlington. Oof. So that's probably, that's one of the most challenging is that all of the citizens of Burlington, plus the 12 board members mm -hmm. as their representatives, are my boss. Oh, no. Pretty yeah. tough. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of people that. I have to report to, you know? So much also, Francis, you said that you've been working for about like one year and a half, right? I've been here for a year and a half. Wait, what, what have been like uh, your, be your favorite things to do so far? In your job? Oh, by far it's being in school, visiting classrooms, talking with students. Mm. Yeah, I have, I have a, uh, so I, I love that. I love every, there are 12 school leaders mm -hmm. who are running schools or school programs. Mm -hmm. I count On Top and Horizons. Those are, those are two schools as a, as a school, mm -hmm. uh, BTC. Has has uh, Mr. Gingold? He he's yeah. one of the people I. So I I go meet with those school leaders, and we walk classrooms, and we we say hi to people, and we watch, you know, what's happening in class, and mm -hmm. talk to students, and that I get to do, you know, five or six times a week. So I, that's that's where I really like to be. Mm -hmm. um, and then I also have a couple of advisory groups. I've got a family advisory group, a student advisory group, oh. um, and a teacher advisory group. And I and those meet once a month, and I enjoy I enjoy that part of, of my work too because I get to hear from people. Um, last this month we we were working we haven't met with the families yet, but we met with the with the teachers and the students, and we we asked them what would you like to see in a in a new high school. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they gave us some ideas. Uh, the students want a coat check. They said they didn't need lockers. <laughs> they just want someone to do a coat check when they come in the door. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> uh, <my sportsman. laughs> you want a locker? No. no? I mean, I'm not a sportsman, but I was going to ask you like, about the old VHS. Yes. And stuff. Like, I, I we heard some reports about him like, before when they closed the school down. Originally it was because of the sand or something. PCBs. PCBs. Yeah. PCBs. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. they're changing that report. They're saying like it's good now that like what's going on with that. Yeah. Oh boy, there's a what's not going on with that. There's a lot, a lot going on. Mm -hmm. So when we learned in uh, a year and a half ago yeah. that the PCB uh, PCBs are chemicals that mm -hmm. were used in the building materials way back when the building was built in the 1960s. Yeah. So they're in the window, in, you know how you have caulking around the windows to keep the windows in, mm -hmm. that, that stuff? Uh, there, were, there were PCBs in that, and that's a chemical. Um, and so we, we, as we were getting ready to do a renovation of the, of the old Burlington High School, mm -hmm. uh, one of the things you have to do is check, for, check the materials and see where there are, might be toxic materials. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so they learned that there were PCBs and then we had to learn more about those PCBs. How bad, how, how, what was the level of PCB um, that had got, gone into the air was one of the things that we needed to learn about. Right. So we learned that they were in, in F building, in the, in the back building where BTC was, there were a couple of classrooms that were very high. Mm -hmm. And then in the, in the other buildings, they were, they were high, there were classrooms that were higher than what is allowed in Vermont. But that, what is allowed in Vermont was a low number, 15 nanograms per cubic meter was, was what could be in the air. Mm -hmm. That's a low number. Um, and so we were very far away from that when we, when we learned about what, what we had in, our, in the air at, at the high school. So we had to close the high school at that point. Mm. Then what happened was the whole state started to worry. What's going to happen to buildings across, across the state? 
Mm -hmm. and, and what should be our action level? So they created a new thing, which is called an action level, mm -hmm. a new way of looking at PCBs in the air. Mm -hmm. And that action level is now 100. Oh. So instead of the 15, mm -hmm. which was the screening value, mm -hmm. they created an action level, which is 100. And in that action level, um, that has us, that has us, that makes us need to question whether or not we can go back into the building. Yeah. Um, but it's important to know that still uh, a, a third of the classrooms, about 30% actually of the classrooms that we, that we um, have in buildings uh, A through uh, D mm -hmm. are over 100 still. Oh, dang. So the, the, the numbers are still high in that, in that building, not in every classroom, but in the classrooms that we've sampled in 30% of those classrooms. Mm -hmm. And the thing, to, the thing that's important to know too is it's not only about the air anymore. When, once you learn it's in the air, mm -hmm. then you have to test all the materials. Mm -hmm. So they test the ceiling, the walls, the floor, and they found the soil. And they've learned that it's in the floor, the ceiling, the, the soil, Never. and the walls. <laughs> it's in the building materials, right? So, the whole so it still is a problem, you mm -hmm. know? And so we now have to learn more about what that means and, and how that will impact the project of a new high school, of building a new high school. But I, I, I haven't changed, uh, nothing that I've seen so far has changed my, my thinking mm -hmm. that we still need a new high school. Oh, all right. But we have asked the experts. We have experts that really understand PCBs uh, who work for us as consultants. Mm -hmm. And then there are also um, these state agencies that help us understand the PCBs. And we've asked them for, for their feedback. So we still have to get more information from them. They're going to give us a, an opinion, the, our experts, and tell us what they think. So we still have some, we have to learn some more. So pretty much it's just a delay because we're going we're gonna to build a new building anyways. So. I mean, it's kind of a step back. At least if we go back, I won't be there to see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah unfortunately for, for, for you all, the, the building, a new building, we're going to stay on our timeline right now. We're not stopping the, the, the plan to build a new building mm -hmm. while we wait and learn more mm -hmm. because we don't want to set that back. Mm -hmm. So we're going to keep planning for the new building. Oh. But that new building wouldn't open until um, at the earliest August of 2025. Dang. Damn. 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 Oh, graduating on this. You got one already. I know, that's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> I don't get to graduate there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're going to graduate on Macy's, man. But how, how is it downtown? Downtown's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah? good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're next to Subway. Why can't you do that? I mean, you can <laughs> yeah. tell between night and day, but yeah. it's still fun. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and how does it work for learning? For classes. learning, I mean, it depends because like the first, the first like uh, first weeks, yes. it was just a little bit difficult because it was like, loud and people were like yeah. trying to figure out where they can go in and start learning. Yeah. And if like where the classes were, if like they pull an AL class to a different class that's not an AL class, just so loud mm -hmm. and it's hard to focus. But like yeah. how they figure out everything's just mm -hmm. so easy to learn. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's not that easy. Like the last class, I mean the last school that we had, but <laughs> <laughs> right, I got you, I got yeah. you. But they've been able to rearrange things so that you're feeling better about. Yeah, yeah. when the first one in, yeah. like the walls went down all the way up. Right, but now right. it's a bit better. Yes, so like yeah. we can like actually talk next to other classes. Yeah. yeah, no loud like before it was too loud. Was it yeah. in the beginning? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but it's not pretty good. Yeah. Good. I think we have like an a AC issue or something last year oh yeah yeah the air conditioner went down yeah that's not playing that was yeah that was bad it was a little i mean we was hot we still have it because like on the downstairs it's just cold but upstairs it's fine yeah mm. it's fine and the new gym is nice <laughs> yeah. at the, where at the y no at the we got like new new stuff oh food. in the back yeah. yes with the workout with yeah, the equipment yeah. Yeah, you like pretty, that yeah it's pretty nice. i've never Good. been Good. You should go check out. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's really 
So it's okay. It's doing the job. Yeah. Okay. You have that's escalator good. and subway. That's all that matters. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> but the yeah. escalator I heard was breaking down too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. I've been sometimes. Yeah. 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 I mean, sometimes <laughs> kids will just click on the button. Just oh, like, well, now get, I know. Off, yeah. <laughs> now I know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because it's like, it's like a big cloud going down the escalators. Yeah. And when kids see the button, they'll be like, oh, a red button. Cool. They just click on it. <laughs> and how does it stop? Soft yeah, or so hard? You stop hard, but like yeah, turn it on. That, that's when it get trouble, like to turn back on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So they All have right. like to just close it. Yeah. About okay. You just snitched. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't one he didn't of those say kids. who was doing it. <laughs> <laughs> he said that kid. Who's that kid? <laughs> who's that kid? <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, I'm glad to hear that it's gotten better. And yeah, it's that, getting better. Yeah, it's working out. For sure. We were very lucky <laughs> oh, to I have know. a building that big mm -hmm. that was open on the inside. Mm -hmm. And to have people who would help us to get it up to speed. And you know, the governor gave us three and a half million dollars. Mm. Three and a half. Million. So that to help to help get the building ready so that we could be in it. Oh wow. Yeah, the whole whole community the whole state helped us. That's so nice. Yeah. Wow. Well done, VT. Wait, I also have one question. Yeah. I was wondering, like, uh, imagine somebody like in the classes get COVID or somebody in their family have COVID. Mm -hmm. What will happen to the other student? So anytime anyone has COVID yeah. in, in a school, mm -hmm. what we do is we, we do contact tracing. So we look at, okay, here's the person who got sick, yeah. right, or became positive, mm. and who was around them for 15 minutes or more for... Uh, at a certain distance. Mm -hmm. And then we reach out to all of those families or students mm -hmm. and we say, you were a close contact. Please stay home, oh. get a test, right? And then, and then come back. Oh, so when you told them to stay home, before them coming back, they have to bring up like a, a proof? Or? They, they either have to have a positive test mm -hmm. or they have to stay home for a certain amount of time. Oh, you mean like 14 days? Yeah. Uh, yes. It depends on how. It depends on when they first, uh, when they were first a close contact. Gotcha. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, um, but we've we've we have a lead nurse uh, whose name is uh, Becca McRae, and she coordinates everything with the principal, the the nurse at the school, and then they work with with the with a little team, and they make all the phone calls and do all the communication. We send out an email to all the parents. Mm -hmm. Um, at the school and say this is what's happening. Mm. So we've got we know how to do it now, but it's it's been challenging. It's been challenging. Yeah, I can, yeah, imagine. I can imagine. So like uh, for closing up our conversation, I'm just wondering, do you have any questions to ask to ask us? I do. Although you've helped me out with understanding about about the um, the high school and sort of how you're feeling about it, but I'm wondering what you think I should focus on. What do we need to do to make Burlington schools even better? Uh, That's a good question. Probably start with lunch and then. <laughs> okay. Lunch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've heard that a little bit of that from my advisory group. Uh, yeah. yeah. The thing is, lunch is good, but it's just some some lunch is not it's not just yeah. uh, pre appealing. Okay. Okay. Uh, we yeah, should have you... we should have more time like to meet with teachers. Like to talk about your grades. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh yeah, it teaches yeah. Yeah. more flexible for students and things. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I, was, I mean, not just like teachers, but like uh, who is it, counselors and stuff. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. if you want to see a counselor there, you won't. You won't be able to. See, you have to like make an appointment yeah, like, like for three really days, hard. four days. Okay, so you're having a hard time getting in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what? When would? When do you think that could happen? When? How could? we create a schedule do you think oh, that's yeah. more flexible to get to meet with uh, teachers maybe like uh during like the whole week right we should have like a day that like you are yeah. able like to go meet with your teacher counselor and stuff like that oh, oh so like set up a, po a time yeah. in the day where you could go check in yeah. with people yeah mm -hmm. oh during yeah. advisory because like yeah. sometimes the advisory is just so quiet because nothing yeah. we're doing yeah. nothing because like in the beginning of advisory just a conversation and then after that you just sit on your phone or chromebook whatever you're doing got it yeah got it and how about even before high school? Middle, did you all go to middle school and elementary in Burlington? I went middle, middle. school. Middle? middle? Yeah, middle school. So what was, how was middle school? Middle what school should we work on? Also. Middle school was pretty fun. Yeah? Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I think I went to both her and Edmonds. Okay. I hated the stairs at Edmonds. <laughs> I don't know if you can change that, but the, the stairs? stairs? They were crazy. <laughs> really? The like, stairs. They were like this big. I was like, <laughs> I was 11 years old. Like, it's so tough. <laughs> I feel like a worker every day. Okay, <laughs> okay. I don't know if uh, that would be hard for me to fix, fix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah. No, I think I had fun most of the time. Okay. So more time with teachers to kind of get some individual work. Mm -hmm. Want the food? You want us to take a look at the food? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, I'm always like uh, hungry. And what kind of food? <laughs> what should we be? What should we serve? Must uh, be a cheese like how it was. Yeah, almost like the bitches serve uh, from yeah, yeah. last uh, school because like the school that we had uh, lunch was like cooked at the spot, mm, but there we don't yes. have a kitchen, so it's just a little bit tough, and sometimes it's just cold and yeah. there's like ice in the middle sometimes oh i see yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. people are pretty good at bhs yeah that's awesome. because we had the kitchen there uh, no, yeah it's been nice. very hard on our on the food service people who are who are organizing all that mm. um and then we've also had uh staffing shortages it's been hard to get enough people um uh for some reason and so we're, we've been working on trying to recruit people yeah so what grade are you all in uh, I'm a senior. Senior? Senior. Junior. Junior. And what what's, what are the, do you know what the plans will be for next year? What are you thinking? Uh, probably go to college. Good. Assuming if the applications are not done yet, but. <laughs> <laughs> so you still have to do the application? Yeah. yeah, I haven't finished it. I've already done half of it. Okay. I'm not done yet. All right. And who's helping? Uh, my school counselor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good right. for you. I can't say the same. No? I mean, no. you don't want to go to college anyways. I, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided. You haven't decided. You see things I'm about. undecided. Okay. But yeah, I've been, I've been having a bunch of personal conversations with my, my family and stuff. Okay. So, I don't know. We'll figure it out at some point. All right. Uh, well, let's talk. Yeah. Yeah, I got you. Yeah? Yeah. All right. And I'll help you with your, your application too. <laughs> I bring recommendations. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. There you go. Uh-huh. Well, uh, my now that I know. Now that I know you. Oh, I yeah. think we met before, right? Oh yeah, remember uh, lunch? I think I saw you. Yes, we met at lunch. Yeah, yeah. 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 Those the guy with the camera. I was like, why is he doing here? <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of people interested in seeing the high school. Mm -hmm. You know, they they uh, it went that the story about the high school and being in a mall mm -hmm. went went across the world, Japan, yeah. Germany. Oh, oh yeah. famous! Oh yeah, famous. it was all over <laughs> the place. Oh, we're famous. Then. You're famous. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was I, I'm nice talking to you yeah. and seeing things, I mean, from your perspective. That was nice. Yeah, Thank ho you. Hope we have another interview. Yeah, I'm hopefully. ready. Oh, and okay. I hear you want to uh, talk to Director Sparks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Maybe awesome. both of you guys should be. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah we're, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. We, work, we work close. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. 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 yeah okay. Awesome. So then we'll see each other soon. All right. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank All right. You for having Thank you guys.